What's up, guys? My name is Zach, and today I am driving a 2003 Mercury Marauder. Up front is a 4.6 liter V8, and down below is a four speed automatic transmission. Now, I am super excited to be driving this Mercury Marauder because this is kind of the halo car when it comes to the Panther platform. This is based off the Grand Marquis, but it got a lot of bells and whistles and kind of ended up being the most burly, muscular, and iconic Panther platform that they made in this era. And so I'm excited to finally dig into one of these. This is a low mileage example with only 56,000 miles. I'm excited just to share it with you today. But if you would like to share your vehicle with me, you can head on over to my website, zachpradle.com slash submit. It's a quick and easy submission form, takes under a minute to fill out, and I come out to you. But let's get back to that 4.6 liter V8 under the hood. It is the modular V8 that we've come to know and love from the Crown Victoria, the Ford Explorer, Ford Mustang, but this is tuned up and tweaked quite a bit. It is a four valve per cylinder dual overhead cam V8 and it makes 302 horsepower. Its closest sibling, at least in terms of its build, is the Mustang Mach 1 of the same era. So don't get it twisted, this isn't your standard Crown Vic engine. This definitely has been worked over quite a bit. However, that does mean that it's still a reliable engine. The 4.6 liter modular V8 was used in all of our taxi cabs and police cars for a decade and a half here in the States, and even used in the Mobility Ventures MV1 that I recently filmed shown here. So it's a very solid engine. Like I said, paired to it is a four speed automatic. Now the four speed actually varies between 2003 and 2004, at least in transmission code, but they're gonna be very similar and this one is doing a fine job. I don't have any complaints. Last but not least about the drivetrain, the Marauder is rear wheel drive and the Marauder gets a limited slip differential along with an aluminum drive shaft to help cut down on that rotating mass to get more power out to those rear wheels. So how's it feel to drive the Mercury Marauder? Well, it does still drive like a Panther platform. It's big, but it's not as floaty as the other Panthers. This has an agenda. This has an idea of where it wants to go, where the other Panther platforms are just kind of la 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 la. No, this has an idea of what it wants and it goes out and gets it. Visibility out the front is great. Out the rear isn't amazing, but that's fine. Steering is a lot more direct than what you would find in a more comfortable Panther like the Lincoln Town Car or Grand Marquis. And overall, it just, it, it feels more serious than those other vehicles. That's my biggest takeaway. And when you put your foot into it, it goes. It most certainly rocks your boat. With that stuff out of the way, let's talk about the interior because we have quite a bit of interior changes. First of all, I do want to note that this is a black Marauder with a gray interior. They started doing the gray interiors halfway through 2003 because people were complaining that the black car with the black interior got so hot in the summers that it was unbearable and so they started offering the gray interior halfway through 03. So this is one of those cars. This is a late model 2003. But in front of me I have three gauges. Off to the left is my coolant temperature and fuel. In the center is my speedometer and off to the right is my tachometer. Very rare to find tachometers here in the Panther platforms. On the steering wheel on the left I have my cruise control control options and off to the right I have my next volume fan speed and temperature which I dearly miss having climate controls on steering wheels I think it's a fantastic idea and very very useful this is however the just standard mercury grand marquee steering wheel so you have these really low slung grips I wish that they would have given it something a little bit more sporty maybe a cool three spoke or something like that but hey I'm not the lead designer at Mercury. Thank God, because I'd be out of a job. Off to the left, we do have our headlight switches, engaged dimmer switches, as well as a climate control vent. We have our pedal adjustments and traction control off. And moving out of the door, we have our power seat options, along with our heated seat options. Very nice to see that. And then we have our power mirrors, power windows, and power locks down below. Up top, we do have a compass. We have our lights. Very cool to see that. And we have our garage door opener along with a giant sunglasses holder and another dome light up above. Moving into the center, very typical Ford radio. Nothing really interesting there. Surrounded by two climate control vents. And then our climate controls themselves. I do get automatic climate controls. I don't get dual zone or anything like that. A little too early for that. But clean, simple, and concise. And I love it when climate controls reflect that. We do have a rear defrost off to the left. And then we have some interesting gauges. 
These are, in fact, stock gauges. The Marauder got these added gauges. Now, the oil pressure is kind of a dumb gauge because it's really just an on-off switch. It just tells you if you have oil pressure or not. It doesn't fluctuate as you drive. But the voltage meter is a real gauge, and that does fluctuate as you drive, so kind of cool to see that. And off to the right, we have our cigarette lighter. Then we have the shifter. I am not used to having a center shifter in a Panther platform. Most of them are column shift. However, what I'm told is that the Crown Victoria Victoria Sport actually did get the center mounted shifter. So very cool to be driving that. This is my first time using a center mounted shifter in a Panther platform and it does add a sportier feel to the car. Down below that, however, we do have cup holders. We'll do a big frame bottle test, but these are some of the smallest cup holders I've seen this decade and it, it's not looking good, bruv. It is not looking good. <laughs> Then we do get a center console and the seats. I love that the seats have this sort of embossed Mercury God's head design in them. I love that. But the overall seats are very, very comfortable. That has not been lost in the Marauder. Panther platforms are comfy cars, and that is right at the front here with the Mercury Marauder. I love it. It's soothing. It's nice and what I would expect. However, speaking of seats, we do have back seats. So let's go do a back seat review. All right, so we're in the back of the 2003 Mercury Marauder. And a couple of things to note. First of all, just as I suspected, very, very comfortable back seats. The Panther platform, whether that be the Crown Vic, Grand Marquis, Lincoln Town Car, Marauder, they're all very comfortable. And that carries on back here. These seats also have barely ever been used. This was previously owned by a L elderly couple out in Ohio and you can see that the seats still have the little child restraint stickers on them so I am probably one of very few to ever sit back here I do get a big chunky center console with two cup holders in there I don't get any vents down here would have liked to have seen that in a full-size sedan but that's okay overall oh, I do have little lights that you could turn Oh, very cool. So, little stuff like that, but overall, I knew that this was going to be a great back seat, and my suspicions were confirmed. So, very cool. Let's hop out. We'll take a quick look at the trunk and cargo space, and then we'll talk about the looks. All right, around the back of the 03 Mercury Marauder, I do have a trunk button here, that little blue button, and it will pop it a little bit, but you got to help it the rest of the way. Once we are back here, a couple of interesting things to note. First of all, this was a dealer optionable rear cargo net, which is very cool. We do have a spare tire up there. And from what I'm told from the owner, that is a factory subwoofer, not 100% sure on that, but this also does have the optional six disc changer off to the left. Other than that, the Panther platform has a huge trunk and that carries on, of course, here with the Marauder. Love to see that, just tons and tons of space. Really, really happy with how this Marauder is specced. This is not factory, by the way. However, the owner did that chroming and I really love it. But overall, tons of space in the back of the Mercury Marauder. Now we gotta talk about the looks. And like I said, this is a black Marauder. However, they did sell them in a few very limited colors of silver, red, and blue. Blue is going to be the most rare, if I remember correctly. But really, any color besides black is gonna be the most rare. I love the look of the Marauder. I love how serious it is and how dark it is. And the, just the name Marauder, and you see this big black sedan pull up. I think that's incredibly cool, incredibly daunting. And I wish that a couple more cars of this era had that sort of edge to it, that sort of stomach pit feeling when they pull up outside your house. If you owe someone a lot of money and you see a blacked out Marauder pull up, it's going to be a rough night. And that to me is really cool. I do want to note one more thing, or actually a couple more things with the exterior. First of all, the taillights are the darkest tinted taillights that the DOT would approve of back in 2003. So this is the darkest the taillights could ever be and still be legal, which I love that Mercury did that. They said, all right, how dark can we go? Make it that. And I love that. But the other thing is that the wheels are a square setup. However, the rear tires are actually larger from the factory, a little bit wider, a little bit taller. I think they knew that you were going to get up to some tomfoolery in these cars. So they gave you a little bit extra rubber underneath. But with all of that being said, let's get on to my final thoughts. What do I think driving a Mercury Marauder? Long time coming, never driven one and was very excited to do so. Well, it's very cool. First of all, I love all the added sporty features features. I love the center mounted shifter. I love 
the blacked out package, the sport exhaust from the factory, that hopped up hot rod engine. I love all of that together. But I think the biggest thing is what this car meant to the Mercury company. You see, Ford wasn't stupid. And back in the early 2000s, they knew that Mercury's days were numbered. What used to be one of their flagship brands back in the 60s when the Marauder name actually started had now formed into badge engineered slop. I mean, take a look at the Mercury Merlon. It's a warmed over Ford Fusion with maybe one extra box checked. That car is lame, boring, and I pity whoever has to drive them. So they knew that they were gonna go Go out of business. Mercury didn't just fall out of the sky. And so they wanted to not only commemorate 40 years since the Marauder name came about here in 2003, but they wanted to give Mercury one last job, one final firecracker in their lineup, something that they could be proud of. And when they finally hung up their hats, they could smile and say, you know what? At least we did that. And the Marauder was that car. It's aggressive, it is the last cool Mercury ever made, in my opinion, because this car actually has character. It feels like it has a personality. Now it feels like that personality wants to strangle me and hold me down, but it has personality where the rest of their lineup failed to ever have. I would much rather hang out with someone who's angry all the time than someone that has no opinion or preference on anything ever. Is there anyone worse in your life than the people that go, I don't know, whatever you want. Where do you want to go to dinner? I don't know, sure, whatever works. I don't care, it's fine. What do you want to do today? I don't know. Those people suck. Well, that's not the Marauder. The Marauder says, hey, we're going to dinner tonight. 5 p.m., Giordano's. All right, be there, wear something nice. And you go, okay, yeah, I'm gonna throw a collared shirt on. I'm gonna go get some Giordano's tonight, huh? That's what this car feels like. It's rough around the edges. It doesn't play no joke, but I like that. And I miss when cars were like it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to Michael for letting me take out his Mercury Marauder. I was so excited to do this video. I've been wanting to film a Marauder for so many years. And then he emailed me. He had such this pristine version of it, 56,000 miles. You really love to see it. Michael's been absolutely awesome to work with, and I hope to work together again in the future. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.